Hello, fellow Araxians, Commander Sirius here. Today, for our Reddit blackout discussion topic, if it's still ongoing, we're going to talk about spawn camping. How big a problem it is in Planetside 2, what ideas people have to solve it, and where it should be on Rogue Planet Games' priority list. Let's dive in, soldiers. I'll see you planet side. So, we've all been there, guys. We're looking around the map for a fight. Can't quite find a good one, but we see one that's 83% enemy, 17% friendly. And you figure, well, might as well join in that, see if the friendly pop starts coming up, and we have a chance at it. This topic is on my mind because BattleBit Remastered is coming out. And while it has much smaller maps, it really has the flow nailed down. There's spawns associated with each control point. There's no go zones depending on what the enemy has locked down. There's generally an intelligent flow across those maps. But it is a more theme park experience. Planetside 2 goes full on sandbox. Here's a base and there's one point in the center of it. Fight over it. But we definitely get a lot of these lopsided battle situations. Now, for the best players out there, a lot of times this can be fun. The opposition might be a zerg, might not have a lot of high skill players, and so battling the hordes while you're massively outnumbered is a great challenge. But more often I find the situation is not so fun. The attackers sort of have their option of either grouping up into a zerg and rolling down the lane and winning, but not getting a whole lot of activity, or those players can branch off into more solar missions and try to do more of what I'm doing here. But a lot of times it's a hopeless case, so you can't get the dopamine hit of winning. And unless you're a veteran character that has honed your skills and has a full kit, you can't really go out there and do these Rambo sort of missions. I've spent a lot of time talking about really high effort sort of ideas to fix this. That is the micro lattice idea. It requires coding time, scripting time, art time, you have to go around and pretty much touch every base and hex on the map. They just aren't very realistic ideas. The lift is too heavy, the risk is too big. What if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't do what I'm hoping it will? It's sort of like throwing it all down on black, going all in and hoping it works. So what I'd like to think about today and hear from you guys is, first of all, is this as big a problem as I think it is? And if you do think it is a high priority item to work on, brainstorm some ideas for Rogue Planet games with a focus on things that are low effort, low hanging fruit that could reduce the amount of time one side or the other is camping the spawn room. One idea I had, and this mostly works on bigger bases, is adding more teleporter access points. So rather than just two exits from the spawn room, having four or five, it wouldn't be as easy for a large Zerg to engulf the one or two spawn rooms that are there. Spreading it out to four, five, or six, your forces would be thinner around each one, allowing the attackers a better chance of breaking out. Now, the problem with this is in an even population environment, it gives the defenders a massive advantage because you'll have no idea where they're coming from. You have to guard all six points, they can blob up in a ball and spearhead through a weak force defending the sixth one. We start pushing more towards the high effort asks, but it could start going towards the closer the population in the hex is to even, the less of those teleporters are online. One of the next big ideas I hear is just stricter spawn control limits. If there's only eight attackers in hex, really disable spawns when it makes it to eight defenders or 10 defenders. Don't allow the whole platoon to redeploy back. Don't let 48 defenders make it into the hex. And I definitely think stricter spawn control could be part of the solution. But to really handle that, you'd have to disable beacons functioning once the hex reaches that pop threshold. Disable galaxies, disable sunderers, whether they're mobile or not. And so all of a sudden you add extra complex rules that are a performance issue, that are bug issues, and are just going to be straight up confusing and impossible for players to track why they can't spawn where they want to spawn. And then the second piece of the puzzle is eight people that are in a discord together as an outfit dropping and holding a point together 
is not equal to eight random newbie puppy players spawning in to defend. So just because the percentage is the same does not mean the fight is even. I think in some people's mind, it's be like, well, have them make an API call and figure out the relative strength of defenders versus the attackers based on their stats. And that sounds impossible to me. So I don't know how you account for that, but I think there needs to be a little bit of slippage slop in that ability for the defenders to redeploy in to account for situations like that. So anyway, soldiers, in the situation like this, I'm really here just to start the conversation. Please keep it going. Please share your ideas. Does it matter? Is this a problem? Do we need to work on spawn room camping? And what you think could be done to improve it? And while you're putting that comment down there, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you hit like on this video. That'll be all for now, soldiers. I'm Commander Sirius, and until next time, I will see you planet side.